Hello guys, in this video we will see how to create and connect to Ubuntu 24.04 Azure Virtual Machine. See, I have connected to Azure portal, then click on Virtual Machines. If you are unable to find Azure Virtual Machine service, click on this search box or click on this, click on here and click on Virtual Machines or search here for Virtual Machine. Just type Virtual, see here we have the Virtual Machines. Click on Virtual Machines. See, I don't have any virtual machine at this moment. Click on create and select Azure virtual machine or click on create and select Azure virtual machine. Both are same. Click on it. Then select the subscription. Then resource group. Select the existing resource group. If you want create new resource group, click on create new. Okay. Then provide the name. I am giving name as UB2404. Then select the region, I am going with East US. Then availability options, I am going with availability zone. Okay. Then availability zone, I am going with zone 1. Next, here security type, I am going with standard. Then click on see all images. If you are unable to find Ubuntu Server 24.04 LDS, click on all, see all images. See here we have the Ubuntu 24.04. If you are unable to find, you can search here. Okay. So select, then select the Ubuntu server. I am going with Ubuntu server 24.04. Select it. Then VM architecture x64. Then size standard. And this is the recently used size. We want different sizes click on see all sizes and select based on your requirement i am going with one cpu one 3.5 gigabytes memory select it if you change more cpus the cost will increase see okay then administrator account authentication type i am going with password then provide the username demo user provide the password Then public inbound ports, I am going to select all three HTTP 80, HTTPS and SSH 22. Then click on disks or click on next, both are same. Disk size, I am going with the default image 30 gigabytes. If you want to increase more, you can increase, you can select here. Then OS disk type, I am going with standard SSD. Key management, I am not going to configure anything. If you want to create and attach a new disk, you have to click on here. If you want to attach an existing disk, you have to click on here. I don't have any of these advanced. Then networking, see, it is going to create new subnet, new virtual network and subnet and public IP. It is going to create new public IP. NIC, network security group, I am going with basic and see the option here. Delete public IP nick when VM is deleted. Suppose if we delete this virtual machine, then public IP and nick will be deleted. So, okay, select this one, then click on management. I am not going to configure any one of them. Then click on monitoring, keep all as it is. Click on add. you want alerts, click on here. Then you have to set the alerts like CPU is and all. Later, also we can set this. Okay, at present I am not going to configure. So unselect it. Click on advanced. If you want to provide any custom data, provide here. Otherwise, click on tags. I am not going to provide any tags. Then click on next. That is review and create. Click on it. See, this will be the cost per month. See, this is the summary of the Ubuntu 24.04 Azure virtual machine. If you are okay with all these settings, click on create. Otherwise, if you want to modify, click on previous and edit. If you are okay with all these settings, click on create. Create it.
see deployment is completed now click on go to resource or if you want to create click on create another vm or click on go to resource both are same click on go to resource close this one see this is the virtual machine or click on home then click on virtual machines then click on virtual machine see we got the same window if you want hide this one hide okay this is the wow view see this is the resource group name operating system type see this is ubuntu 24.04 this is the public ip and this is the virtual information dns name not configured if you want to configure click on this not configure then provide the name at present i am not going to okay click on back it's okay these are the properties now if you want to restart click on restart if you want to stop click on stop if you want to delete you can delete delete is used whenever when you are completely not going to use this ubuntu machine then you have to click on delete okay now click on connect then click on connect copy this public ip now open pati paste the ip then click on open then click on accept then username is this is the username demo user okay demo user then provide the password that we have given see we have successfully connected the first step after connecting to ubuntu machine is sudo apt update see all done and it is saying 74 packages needs to be updated so we can update by running the command sudo apt upgrade okay I, I will do this later but you have to run this one next verify this verify whether this is ubuntu 2404 or not more slash etc os hyphen release see we have ubuntu 24.04 lds version and this is the version id okay so we have successfully connected to ubuntu 24.04 azure virtual machine now go to virtual machine click on overview suppose if you want to stop click on stop click on stop click on s see the system will power off now also here inactive okay if you refresh see in before it was grayed out now click on start now restart session see started virtual machine now provide the username demo user provide the password see we have successfully connected to ubuntu 24.04 lds azure virtual machine for more azure videos or linux videos please subscribe my channel thank you